going to church doesn't make a person a Christian. That's true. You know, Ron, you have to invite Jesus Christ to come into your heart. Hello, everyone. I'm Antelope, and today I have a true story I would like to tell. Part of the reason I have always been interested in the strange and dark mysteries of our world is that I have personally experienced some very odd things in my life. The story I'm going to tell today is completely true and involves the case of one Ronald William Brown from Largo, Florida. Now, I have a very loose connection to this story, which I'll tell at the end. I figured out of the tales from my life, I would start with the shortest and the one with the least of my involvement. Let's begin. In the mid-80s, Ronald Brown was a puppeteer for a local Christian children's TV show called Joy Junction. Brown would control and have conversations with his puppet, Marty, and discuss various things pertaining to being a good Christian, such as avoiding pornography. During this time, as far as we know, Brown had no criminal record. Fast forward to the year 2013. Ronald Brown's house in the mobile home park Whispering Pine in Largo, Florida is raided by the FBI and Brown is arrested. What the police would discover about Brown would lead to him serving a 20-year sentence in prison. Inside Brown's house, the police would find a large stash of child pornography, a missing child poster, and a pair of young boys' underwear. Brown would claim those were for his puppets. If these weren't disturbing enough, what would really seal the case against Brown would be his activity online chatting with fellow pedophiles. What ended up being discovered is Brown had a fantasy about kidnapping, cooking, and eating young children, which he would describe in detail with people on the internet. I think I could handle the snuff easy, Brown wrote, referring to killing a young child. It would be the catch and butcher that would be hard. These statements being the least graphic. Now, as I said at the start, I sadly have a loose connection to this man. My father owned a lawn care business, and many of his clients were in the Largo area, one of them being Ronald Brown himself. On numerous occasions, I assisted my father in caring for Brown's property, in Whispering Pine, that is. I, nor my father, ever directly met Brown ourselves. Brown would leave his payments for lawn care on his doorstep for us to retrieve, and communication was only ever by phone. My father recalled he had a high and effeminate voice. I personally recall his house being difficult to mow as it was in a very awkward location and was almost always covered in animal feces. Sorry if that part was anticlimactic, but as I said, it was a loose connection. I have more stories from my personal life I intend to tell later. If you yourself have any strange stories of your own, feel free to share them in the comment section.